nice day in eastern Kentucky, but we could use a little bit of that rain they're seeing down in Texas. Yes, for sure. I mean, it's raining a lot down there. We will eventually see some rainfall, but until then, a few more dry days and no burning today because, I mean, the U.S. drought monitor still has us in an abnormally dry and it's very dry in the air as well. So just be very careful. No burning advised for sure. But we have this really cool picture that came in from Rogersville from Kim. She sent this in. This is an iridescent cloud, which is very rare, also known as a rainbow cloud. Very, very rare ph phenomena that happened there, but she managed to get a picture of it. So very cool for that. Now, tonight's going to be very warm and cloudy, and right now we are are nice and dry so we can enjoy some dry weather but like we said we do definitely need that rainfall it's also very warm out there a pair of 81s over in Paintsville and over in Jackson 81 degrees in Harlan and 77 over in Somerset so a little bit cooler over towards Somerset and speaking of cooler we are eventually going to drop down to near normal highs by the weekend so eventually we are going to cool off just a little bit but until then tomorrow temperatures are still going to be in the upper 70s so for the rest of the night temperatures will linger down into the upper 60s and eventually we will bottom out into the mid 50s. So a rather mild start to your Wednesday and then from there temperatures will make their way into the upper 70s despite seeing more cloud cover and some rainfall. Now this high pressure is just keeping us nice and dry and there's all that rain off to the west. Now that's all associated with this low pressure which is eventually going to move over closer towards the mountains but until then this high pressure is just bringing in just enough dry air to where this rain pretty much just disappears once it hits central Kentucky. So we're not going to see any rain for the rest of the night, but eventually that high will weaken and push over closer towards the Carolina coast there. And then after that, that's when that low pressure is finally going to get its chance to move over closer towards the mountains, but it's actually going to take its time. So we are expecting for this to move in closer towards Thursday evening and Thursday night. But before that, we are expecting a few isolated showers on Wednesday afternoon. Could even hear a rumble of thunder or two if we see enough sunlight tomorrow afternoon. And then this low pressure continues to track towards the area, dragging along a cold front, which will eventually move across eastern Kentucky throughout Thursday evening. So you can see here around 4 o'clock, a few scattered showers popping up just west of 75. And then eventually we are going to see that rain continue to push throughout the rest of the mountains throughout the rest of the afternoon and the evening Thursday, which is the start of hillbilly days. So if you are heading out there, expect to see a few sh showers and potentially even a few thunderstorms. So that means for anyone pitching a tent for that day, well, gusty winds are fairly likely, especially if we do see a thunderstorm. So you might want to put on a few weights on the bottom of your tents. Now temperatures on Friday a little bit cooler as an effect of that cold front. But again, Friday afternoon, we are still expecting to see a few scattered showers moving into the area. Not so many thunderstorms for Friday, but certainly Thursday could see that potential. But then by Saturday, things really clear out just in time for the parade. All right.